Hey guys, welcome back to Science Skills and Life Skills with Dikkat Kiran. So today uh, we are now going to do StudioCode.org. Now are we going to do HTML? Today we are going to do a, a new platform called Thunkable. I have introduced uh, Thunkable to you guys um, in, uh, uh, um, in one video. So let's search Thunkable in Google and take Thunkable drag and drop. Let's log in. So it has logged into my uh, account. Now uh, we're going to create a, an app. So let's create it. Um, there, I'm deciding to do a BMI calculator. It will take you to your um, pay, um, interface. So Thunkable creates native apps while studiocode.org pro provides web apps. So web apps are apps that you um, uh, access on your browser, whereas native apps are apps that are already provided um, in your uh, home screen. So I'll show you an example. So all these apps are actually uh, native apps, while our studiocode.org apps are all um, web apps. So uh, here is our screen. We're going to rename it to BMI screen. Okay, now uh, we need um, one button. Okay, before that you need a column. So here it is. First, uh, you have to put it here and then Okay, now we need to put the button inside the column. So when the red line appears next to the column, that means it's going to go inside, so leave it. So it's inside the column now. So in the column, we are going to select a vertical alignment in that we are going to select space around. So there'll be space in between the um, elements. So here you're going to give calculate. Okay, so um, now we are going to add two labels saying enter height and enter weight and we are going to add one more label which will uh, show the BMI and we will add two test inputs which will, which will talk about uh, which will ask you to enter the height and weight. So let's do that. So as you can see I am I have done all the elements now I have to uh, uh, type the text for the labels now for the text inputs uh, what you're going to do is uh, you're first going to rename it of course so here you're going to give height and uh, you might be remembering that in code.org we had something called placeholders so in uh, Thunkable's uh, view that placeholder is called um, a hint this one so let's give the int as enter in centimeters. Okay. So for the, uh, here you are going to give enter in kgs. I mean enter in kilograms. So as you can see, I have typed it. Now uh, we can just change this uh, color of the screen and all the other elements. So for that you will be able to see background color. It will be there for every element apart from the uh, text input. Uh, so as you can see in text input is not there. So let's go to label and do that background color. So as you can see I have an RGB combination of colors. Uh, now let's add our blank label. It will be blank to show the uh, your BMI. So let's uh, empty it of the strings. It should be empty string. And here you're going to rename it to blank label. So now we are done with the design part. Now we can code. So go to block and um, click on button one. So when button one is clicked, 
so before we do that we are going to assign make a variable so we are going to use initialize app variable so you can change from app to stored or cloud so i'm going to take for app now so uh app now we can make the name of the variable let's say bmi and we are going to give zero here so now uh, we are going to uh, um, set the app BMI. Now uh, we are going to uh, check what the BMI formula is. Let's go to Google. BMI formula. So I think the BMI formula is weight uh, divided by height square into 703 okay so uh, it, it can be two uh, units i'm going to take um, metric because this is pounds and inches so uh, weight divided by height square is all that we need to do so here we are going to use math divide And we are going to take another multiplication symbol here. So now uh, we can take height text input, get the text. We are copying it, and we can copy another one here. And this one we can put weight text input or text input one. So this is the value of uh, the variable app BMI. Now I can set the uh, uh, text of the blank label to that variable. You can do, do it directly as well without any variable, but this will be more easier compared to that. So here you are going to click on variables and take this. So the work is done here. I, I had done one thing wrong here. It's not centimeters. Meters. Because that's what it's saying here. Weight divided by height in meters. Okay. So now let's uh, live test. You can even uh, test even. Don't post it. It's not pink. Okay, so look like that is there is something wrong. Okay, so that was something wrong with the live test. Very sorry for that. So now, uh, let's enter uh, my height in meters okay so my actual height is uh, 148 centimeters which is equal to 1.48 meters so let's enter 1.48 meters actually 1.46 yeah 6 uh, my weight in kilograms is 30 to 31 so let's calculate so it is 14 point uh, something 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 so uh, it will be very hard uh, to see that so uh, when you are designing the app you can just insert an image here uh, so uh, showing the BMI chart so I'll just insert that now okay so uh, okay so um, I have inserted an image here so uh, let's take let's select the image upload files so I'm going to select this this is my BMI chart so I've added it so as you can see it is here but the uh, width is very less it's not that clear um, 200 and let's increase the height as well So 
it might look very congested here okay so i'll just uh, char uh, charge my laptop so that it looks more uh, bright okay so now it looks more brighter so uh, in laptop it, it looks very hazy but if you take it in the mobile it won't so in the next video i'll be showing you uh, uh, how it will look in the mobile and how to download it in the next video so let's check the live test the image will take some time to load so as you can see it is a little more clear compared to uh, how it was earlier so the underweight and uh, overweight is a little uh, is cut out uh, i'll i'll improve on that okay so now let's enter my height my height was 1.46 meters kilogram i was 30 let's calculate so i'm 14 so um, i am underweight because i think it looks yeah it is lesser than 18.5 lesser than 18.5 is uh, underweight so i am an underweight person okay so that was it for today uh, in the next video i'm going to show you how to download it um, and and how it looks from in the mo how it looks in the mobile so uh, th thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe bye